What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I am very excited to present you the topic of this week's advanced Revit course and that is adaptive components or adaptive families within Revit. So we're going to be exploring the adaptive generic model template within Revit and how can you create some adaptive families and all of the capabilities and features of this types of families. So we're going to go uh, and explain all about adaptive points and shape handle points and how they're used and then we're going to use that knowledge to create some different amazing things. The first one that we're going to be creating is this a fully parametric lamp and as you can see it's not parametric in a way where you select it and then go in the properties panel and then change some parameters it's actually way better so you just go over head go ahead over here and you just kinda hover over this edge over here and it says shape handle point and now I can select it and actually change the shape of this family Then I can go ahead over here and maybe change this and and that's how I can play around and reshape this family quite organically. There is no clumsy numbers where you have to test everything out and then repeatedly enter some numbers. No, it's everything is done using these shape handle points and then you just play around and you kind of move around your family and kind of position it in in place where you want to have it so that's really cool now this is kind of a cool way to create some cool adaptive families within Revit but that's only kind of scratching the surface of the capabilities of this these types of advanced uh, kind of uh, adaptive families now in the next case and that's this over here I'm going to be showing you how to use these families for creating some cool adaptive parametric profiles so as you can see over here we've got some profiles that are creating this loft we've got six profiles for this loft and they're all hosted on these kind of uh, this lines and some arcs and splines and stuff like that now what these uh, adaptive points actually allow us to do or these adaptive families is that we can kind of change the shape of this using either these guidelines so I can go over ahead and select this spline line and then maybe move it out of place a bit and as you can see the whole thing kind of changes shape I can maybe move it up and that's how I can quite organically shape this thing but I'm not only shaping these kind of guidelines I can also change the profiles so if I want to say that this I don't want this to go to kind of to the inside I want it to go to the outside like uh, this part over here I can just spin around over here select adjust the point and then just by moving the point through space like this I can kind of reshape it and move it on the other side I can do maybe the same thing over here with this point let's orbited on the other side and completely cha change the shape of this thing and also we can go ahead over here and maybe make some changes there so just by using these adaptive points you kinda have a way of kinda configuring a very cool mass and then you're able to kinda quite organically shape that mass you're not constrained by uh, by everything that you've created you can create the shape and then you can play around you can create the shape and then you can say okay I don't want it to look like that I want to kind of move around play with it maybe move this inside again check it out let's see that looks good maybe use this one and move it to the inside a bit as well yeah that looks really cool so you can play around using these profiles and I'm going to show you how to create this custom kind of a profile family for this mass as well as how to do all of the geometry for this mass and how to set up these guides that can then maybe uh, be moved so you can then change the shape completely if that's what you want to do so you can change it like this it looks like a big whale in the end I really like this cool kind of mass shape Anyway, that's the second capability that I'm going to be showing you for uh, these adaptive points and how to use them for creating some organic massing within Revit. Now, moving on from here, we're going to be creating one more family within this and that's an adaptive family that can be used in multiple applications. So adaptive families are very versatile and I'm going to be showing you how to create this kind of a, a window trim that can be used to kind of be just an accent on a facade but the point is that these points here are adaptive so if you move them you can change it and it's also got some regular parameters so if I go over here I can change the the offset so I can change this offset to maybe I don't know 500 and then as you can see this is a bit thicker or change the back to 300 
and then it's a bit thinner. But the point of this is that this rectangular family can be inserted pretty much anywhere where you've got four points. So if I go over here into this project and if I go to insert this family, as you can see, we can place it just by placing points. So I can place it on multiple grid styles. As long as there's four points, I can place it. So you can go over here, 1.2.3.4, and there we go, we've got it over here, maybe turn on realistic to see the color. Now here we have a completely different pattern, but again, we can place it. So 1.2.3.4, as long as it has four points, it can be placed. And here we have this one that's really weird, but even there, just as long as it has four points, we can place our family. And again, we can play around maybe with the thickness of it and stuff like that. So we're creating these extremely versatile adaptive families. They're a bit harder to create. And if I go over here, just to check this out, maybe just go into wireframe. As you can see, it's very complex geometry within this and the parameters are uh, a bit hard to get used to in the beginning because it's nothing like creating regular families. As you can see, even the environment isn't the regular kind of uh, where you have the extrusion and revolve and stuff like that. No, you have kind of the massing environment, but we're creating a family that can later be categorized. So that's what's different with these families and they're a bit trickier to model, but in the end, they're very versatile. You can kind of play around, you can spin them around around as you can see here it can they can go in all directions and you can create some cool stuff like these facade elements or this cool looking kind of mass element that can organically be reshaped into pretty much whatever you want so anything you want to change maybe select this arc over here and maybe arc it a bit more and there we go it works so you can play around with this or you can create just these kind of parametric families that don't use regular parameters like numbers, but actually have these points where you can change it like that. And it's a lot cooler to use and it's a lot easier to get to what you want to have your family look like. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this course. If you want to check it out, check out my Patreon. First link in the description. I've got over six courses so far and this one so if you want to check any of those out by subscribing for only $15 a month you get access to all of the courses so far as well as all of the new courses that I do that month. Okay and if you want to download just these families you can subscribe and become a Balkan Architect Premium member and for only $5 a month you'll get access to all of these project files, all of these adaptive families as well as all of the other families that I've done so far. I've got a bunch so far so over 200 I think. So if you want to check that out again first link in the description to my Patreon. Okay so that's pretty much it for this course. I hope I've got you excited enough to just if you want to check it out. Thank Thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you want a regular tutorial well that's coming out in a couple of days thank you for watching and have a nice day